So, Richard, you're going to show us the uh, tumbleweed running on a new laptop, right? No, I'm actually leak running on a new laptop. Oh, really? So, this, this is Tuxedo's uh, Infinity Book. Um, mm -hmm. the, Tuxedo, a German company, uh, doing Linux based laptops, desktops, servers. Um, they've been doing it previously on another distribution that mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want to name. Um, but they contacted us recently and they were like, oh, why, you know, let's think about putting OpenSUSE Leap on there. And, you know, it's been really fun working with them. Um, and just before I came to SuzuCon, they were like, yeah, we've actually got the first one working. So this is the first one straight out of the factory. I think it was like finished on Thursday. Um, it's running open to the Leap 42.3. Uh, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. It, it, they, they've, really, they've really gone over the top when it comes to the specs. So it's actually a four core i7, 32 gig of RAM, NVMe storage, about 256 gig of the stuff, terabyte disk. And they've really done a really good job of, of trying to make it a very, uh, let's say, uh, on, uh, traditional OpenSUSE uh, installation. So they, they're you know, keeping pretty much to our standards. You know, it's not like some of these OEMs that want to modify all of my stuff. So like, I open it up, like, oh, this, this is good. Like, they haven't ruined it. Um, but they've also put a few of their own little touches in there, which make it a little bit more polished and, and smooth for them. Um, and now we're actually working with them about maybe possibly getting these things submitted to OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and OpenSUSE Leap, because they're, they're a really cool company to work with. They're doing stuff under the GPL, and you know, they're just yeah, a nice, friendly bunch. Um, so, so when you say that, it, so does it come with Leap? Or? It comes with Leap, yeah. If you, you can, well, when, when we finally finished all the paperwork with them, mm -hmm. be, they will be shipping this, and OpenSUSE Leap will be one of the options when you order this laptop. And uh, so you said they have done some little bit of their own tweaking. What is that? What, how much have they done? There? Uh, a couple of extra packages for, for things like their own wallpaper and branding. Um, but because it's all open license, we're actually going to suggest them putting that into Tumbleweed. So, you know, they can actually you know, just use that anyway from there. Um, they're currently using their own custom kernel. Um, because this hardware is so new, the leap kernel is a little bit too old for them. Um, but we're working with them about possibly finding a kernel that like, we can comfortably like, say is ours, even if it isn't the traditional vanilla leap one. Because uh, they've put kernel 4.12 on here, uh, which incidentally is going to be the same kernel we're going to be using in SLE and leap 15. Um, so we're looking at like, maybe possibly doing something where we, we kind of shove the SLE kernel or the leap kernel, the new leap kernel, um, but make it available for them so they don't have to go replacing that on their own. Okay, and uh, that's all what, work in progress. Okay, and what is the most that you like about this hardware? The 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 nasty. Yeah, one minute. The, 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 the nasty, amu amusing thing. I got a lovely new laptop from from Suza recently. My work laptop. Mm -hmm. it's, it's brilliant. It's the top end laptop they give to you know all the luckiest engineers. This is better. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, so it's what better in every single way. There's, spe there's better CPU, better RAM, better NVMe disk. Um, the screen, the only thing is different is the screen is smaller, but this is a matte screen, so, you know, it's absolutely lovely. Yeah, um, I, and I, it's I also love, I love like matte it. screen when, uh, only yeah. for, I think, uh, film editing, I prefer uh, yeah. the glossy one. Yeah, oh, and the, actually, the cool and the coolest thing, which mm -hmm. this is a, a lovely little book, nice and thin, and it has an Ethernet port without a dongle. I don't need to use a dongle with this thing. But in today's world, why do you need Ethernet port? Everybody's wireless, you know. Ah, you know, should use cloud. You should use, use cloud all the time. I do. But well, I, I want to connect my cloud quickly. You so. should get internet through the cloud nowadays. Yeah, yeah I wish I could. <laughs> but no, I still, I still like to have an Ethernet port uh, on my desk. I also at home, all my laptops and my desktop, they are connected to, because yeah. the speed that you get. Exactly. Because when you share the wireless, either way, you know, it gets slow. Yeah. What is the port on the other side? Uh, on the other side, so, well, yeah, on this side, you've got HDMI, Lightning, USB-C and USB 3.1, um, and the an SD card and you've got additional uh, USB 3.1 audio ports and a nice modem port and uh, modem SIM card slot so I think it's a 3G or 4G modem they have in so there. So does SUSE support uh, modem because if I put my SIM will it work? Um, they, they, they have all the drivers there it all seems to work fine I haven't actually put my SIM card in there yet but every self-test is passing as if it's detecting everything wonderfully in fact just to show that on the camera there we go you can see the mobile broadband is just so you can have to make the focus tighter okay yeah, right, right, yeah. right. In terms of the battery life, um, it's currently saying somewhere between five and eight hours. We're working on them actually getting it nearer to 12. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, just a few little tweaks where you know, we've got engineers here where we're like, oh, you're cool, you, you can do this, you can do that. So, um, yeah, I'm only expecting it to be a couple of weeks before they get all that in it, there. It really looks gorgeous, you know. I mean, yeah. I have a MacBook and a Dell XPS 13. 
uh, and kind of form factor wise, at least the camera is on top, so it doesn't look like on Dell <laughs> XL system it looks like I'm chatting from some. Uh, the camera up the nose. Yeah, because it's spy camera. At the same time, when I type, it blocks yeah. my fingers. And I, I really like actually how you've got like a, it's an aluminium silver and black, which mm -hmm. is really kind of kind of cool. Yeah. And the logo on the back here. Mm -hmm. We're in discussions about maybe having open SUSE branding on the the laser engraving on the top there. That, that would be awesome. Which yeah. would be, be really fun. But. Yeah. Anyway, Richard, thank you so much for showing us this uh, pre-released. My pleasure. So, are you going to forget it as a bar so somebody can find it like Apple? Apple? Oh no, no, no! no, no. I've, 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 I've been keeping this. This is going. This is doing all my presentations so far at SuperCon. It's been absolutely awesome. Okay, thanks for showing it to us. Thank you. Bye bye.